Atom. All right, so World 2 is around the corner, and I bet many of you've been thinking, what is it gonna be? What is World 2? Cursed, what do you think, bro? What do you think? It's a portal, bro, to the other side. Yeah, it's an alternate universe, you know? This is about to be like some Spider Man multiverse type of thing, bro. Exactly, <laughs> for real. That's what I'm saying, bro. It is. It actually is. But nah, nah, for real. Probably like this. It's probably gonna look cooler, though. All right, let's hop into some infinite mode while we talk and try to maybe predict what could be in world two so let's hop into a game real quick bro all right so i mean the first thing that everyone is probably thinking world two is gonna have is seven stars honestly guys when it comes to seven stars i think it's gonna work more like i don't know if you guys ever played something like dragon ball legends or dragon ball dokkan and there's characters that are basically lrs like legendary characters i mean that's why i thought six stars are yeah but they're more like they're more like URs, like six stars, or more like URs and then LRs. Probably gonna be like seven stars. Cause, bro, they're demanding to make, like super demanding. And, yeah. well, they're really strong, like, you know? So, I don't know though. I don't know. Like, are they really gonna go even higher damage than this, bro? Like, what oh scale are we gonna go to, bro? Like, ah, damn, bro. Oh my God. Aren't we, we high got, enough? Like, holy. Bro, bro, we literally got units dealing what now? Like, 3 million damage and stuff like that. So, bro, wh we got what I'm. Light Yagami. For real. Well, Light Yagami is like a, like a bomb kind of unit. Like, you something you just well, yeah, set I off guess. once in a game. But. With World 2, you know, we're talking about those LRs basically being 7 stars for the game, you know, being super demanding, super hard to make, and I feel like that World 2 is gonna be where, like, people are gonna go into there, and, like, it's gonna have a whole entire new story mode, whole bunch of new challenges, and basically just, like, a fresh new game, but a next dimension in All-Star Tower they Defense. They do that, yeah. Like, yeah, that's... There would... Yeah. For sure it would add like a reasoning for you to keep grinding again and all that like i think all of us have had enough of the story mode like bro where are the story modes at fam we need more story modes bro come on now. yeah yeah we haven't really been getting much story mode stuff and uh you know i feel like maybe they've been saving it for world 2 because i mean it's literally in the name world 2 so right now that the current lobby that we have is probably going to be world one and maybe in the future that's what they're planning on doing you know just adding multiple worlds and each world just keeps getting harder and harder and yeah that's pretty much it like even with trading units now guys like most units that you could trade are actually one of the best units that you could get on the game so the game changed a lot before it wasn't like this and yeah. i mean if you're just gonna think about it like that it's definitely possible that that's what world two is gonna be like Honestly, I think that a very important thing they have to do, the developers, is first of all, bro, they need to do something with the PvP, bro. They gotta add something to it. They gotta make it newer. They gotta make it better because that, bro, bro, that's oh, like yeah. the most forgotten thing in the whole game. And then I think the orb farm as well. I think we need to get more material, bro, because there's no way, bro, like everyone's using gems to buy orbs no one's using the materials like i promise yeah i most of the time i rather just afk overnight and just use those gems to get the orbs because it's less of a grind and that way like i'll just you know get the orbs like that it's way simpler exactly exactly and i rather grind out you know exp units than basically just orb materials bro, exactly for like hours like yeah you know? it's not it it's not it like there's so much things you have to grind for like i don't have time for all of it like bro like give us some more material like am i really gonna have to work my ass off for materials for orbs bro like units you released already but we're dog water and now you're updating them and you're making me grind for it like come on bro I ain't no now way. what i want to talk about is pvp hopefully world 2 does actually you know bring us something new to pvp and what I was thinking with PvP, because right now it's so useless. Like, PvP is so useless that, that there's no benefits at all. Like, what, you get 10 gems per match? Like, <laughs> even at the lower levels, you still get the same rewards as you would get if you, you know, got the best badge in the game. You know, the highest elo, the highest ranking in PvP. You still get the same rewards as someone that never yeah, touched PvP before. Yeah. And it's basically just not it. 
and i wish pvp worked in a way where like you know the higher rank you are the more rewards you get and that's why would people would just want to play pvp because that way there'll be a reason to go on it and become as good as possible so you get the Bro, best rewards possible you know what i mean the, i just got the best freaking idea you know what would be a very sick idea for pvp bro what if, is it uh, they add challenges for pvp like you have to use this unit and if you use this unit then like we can reward you a, a, a different unit or you have to use a certain team setup like team seven and just things like that just different challenges with teams on pvp and try to win with it or try to do something with it you know and you could even get like maybe even orb material and stuff like that like anything different types of stuff different missions give different types of rewards yeah depending yeah. on how hard it is yeah pvp should get like a special shop too like pvp points you use those points to get stuff because we already have Facts. special event shops guys special event shops you go in there you have those weapons special weapons you put on your characters and if you kill the boss then you get rewarded coins and you could buy you know like the one dude we had, Halloween Luffy. We have yeah, uh, yeah, the Luffy Ice Zombie. dude from One Piece. We got a bunch of units, and that system is already in the game. So they could literally just put that into PvP and make it so we could get special different units from PvP. And it could just shuffle Pretty between much. different stuff, different rewards. So enough of PvP talk. I hope that World 2 actually brings a bit more balance to the game in a way. Or something where like... It becomes something like anime fighters in a way anime fighters has a really cool setup with like you know units where like uh the more rare it is the better it is and all star doesn't really have something like that where like something is super rare it's just like whoever got lucky enough to uh you know open up a christmas box or something like that or the capsules but capsules are also like you know nothing crazy to get you could easily get legendaries from it if you just keep grinding out the capsules but capsule units most of the time are not really great that's the thing so who knows what world 2 is gonna do but so far i mean that's my predictions on world 2 what do you, do you have anything to say cursed they should add my boy shenron bro in world 2 all right your boy shenron to world 2 yeah and like every story mode mission bro like you have a chance of getting a dragon ball and if you collect all seven you could you know make a wish in the lobby but that's oh, only true? in world two that's only in world two though and, that like, would you be could fire. get gems or something like or a unit or like you could wish for whatever now also if you guys now if you guys never really played like you know dragon ball legends or you know dragon ball dokkan you guys are confused about lrs Basically what an LR could be, like right now we have 6 star Goku, right? 6 star Goku is just God Goku, red form. So LR could be like a Goku that goes Kaioken blue and or maybe MUI or who knows what. Maybe it could be an evolution type unit that just keeps evolving as yeah, you keep that would upgrading be... him. Or, or, like you know how Gilgamesh has his different modes? Each yeah. of them is just a different saying form bro and they're all busted in their own way like exactly yeah that's true come on man like that, that would be so sick bro yeah that could definitely be it bro i'm not gonna lie that's a really good idea and there is so much stuff they could do with this world too man like it could completely change the game you know what i can't wait to see bro sage of the six spats madara bro i want to Jeez. see him in world two i definitely want to see him in world two Facts. and i feel like and obito Oh yeah, definitely. Ten tails Obito, bro. Yes, My sir. God. So pretty My much, I mean, it. our predictions is that World Two is where we're gonna be getting the crazy, crazy units, the busted stuff, the universal type stuff. Even Hopefully. though Dio, even though Dio is like universal and all that, but like, I mean, I'm talking like the crazy stuff. I'm talking Zeno pressing the button or whatever to erase the universe type of level. <laughs> Who's winning, Gojo or Dio? Gojo or Dio? Um, honestly, I feel like Dio would win because of the powers that he has. Or are we are we talking Overhaven Dio? Because it would be yeah. Overhaven Dio. Yeah, Dio would win. Now, as for a wish list that I would probably have for like you know stuff being into World Two, would most likely be like more challenges and just more diverse units. That's what I want for World Two. That's my wish list. Just having more diverse units. And that's pretty much it. Do you have anything that you want in World 2, Cursed? This game is really revolved around, like, animes that have, like, a lot of action and, like, fighting and, like, all of that. But honestly, yeah. bro, they could implement, like, characters like Spike from, um, what's that Cowboy anime, Bebop? Bro? 
yeah, from Cowboy Bebop, bro. Stuff like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? That I think yeah. that would be really sick. Like, he could do, like, a little sick move, and then he shoots his gun or something. Like, that would be fire, bro. But they should add more, like, different types of animes. Not so much just, like, fighting animes and stuff. Not all, not all anime characters would fit into this game, though, of course. It wouldn't make sense. Yeah, like, freaking, um... Boku no Pico would definitely not fit in this game. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. <laughs> but, bro, we need, like, all the Hokages, bro. We need third Hokage. I want the third Hokage in this game. I mean, there's so much characters I could just keep saying and saying, but those are just units, right? I'm not really... We're not really here for the units. Yeah. I really just want that Shenron thing, bro, to be in World 2. That's, like, one of the top things. I think that would add a lot of interest for a lot of people. And... Yeah, I mean, there would be a better reason of. You know what they could do with reason. that? You know what they could do with what? that Shinron thing? Like, right, you go into World 2, right? You get the Dragon Balls, and then with that, like, you could make a wish for, like, gems or a super powerful secret unit or. Yeah, that's, you that's know, what I'm saying. Gold. That would be awesome, man. Like, you just, you know, wish for a super powerful unit, and, like, you get, like, who knows what, 10 tills Madara or. Uh, Super yeah. Saiyan's Blue Goku. Exactly. And there would also another... That, that would just be like the Shenron for like World 2. But then there would also be a Shenron unit. You know, like, but that's a whole different thing. But like, the whole Shenron concept that... It's fire, bro. It's so fire. Anyway, all I want to tell you guys is probably most of these predictions are probably going to be false. We're just <laughs> hoping these type of stuff happen to the game. Uh, we never really know what happens with the updates with this game because they're just so random most of the time. Like, you can't really tell. Like, out of nowhere, they change a lot of stuff up. Like, uh, like this unit right here, Modder, was actually not supposed to be the unit that releases with the present. It was a different unit, but they changed it to Modera. So a lot of stuff do change up, and I just hope that they don't flop on World 2. Anyway, guys, with that being said, I think I'm going to end the video because, honestly, that's pretty much all we can predict. You know, it is a tower defense game. One thing I do wish that they added, though, was traps and stuff. You know, like a new type of mechanic oh, yeah, where we could place real. traps yeah, down. Yeah. That would be awesome. But yeah, guys, I'm going to be ending the video right there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.